with my drumstick, you guys. Mmm, so juicy. Welcome back, Minion Squad! I'm Little Mia. Welcome back to another episode of Little Mia's Mukbangs. You guys, check this out. This is bok choy soup. In my culture, the Khmer culture, it's called Snao. Snao Jumoy Sekmoy Haispei. Yeah, my pronunciation is not that great. But I'm so excited, I'm so hungry, and I cannot wait to get started. But one other thing, we also have little desserts as well. This is little jellies, fruit jellies, and then this one is sticky rice dessert with monk beans in the middle. So it's super yummy, my favorite dessert. So guys, without further ado, let's get this party started, shall we? Alright. Digging in. Mm. Everything's warm. So I put the chicken in the broth first. Add all my spices. Sugar, salt. Garlic as well. Pretty simple soup, but tasty soup. I was like, chicken soup for the soul, but my style. I'm going with my drumstick, you guys. Mmm, so juicy. There's shrimp. And shrimp balls. I cut it in half. Makes it a lot easier to eat. Sure. I'm walking on the stuff to it. It's like one of those meals where it just hits the spot. And we have soybean drink as well. So good and so refreshing. Great for pregnancy too. Chicken as well the bone. Because it was marinating in the soup with all the flavors and spices. Little guy loves the soup. Justin loves the soup. Because the bok choy just grabs all the flavors. I'm just gonna enjoy this meal. Mm. It's just so warm, so soothing, and just so delicious when it hits your palate. Mm. So, guys. 
be sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already click on that bell notification so you're notified every time we put a video up next and guys be sure to share with friends and family as well it helped out a lot and i really appreciate it so thank you so much for the love sending good vibes to each and every one of you mm. Hope that you guys are all doing well out there. And life's treating you well despite the situations at hand. Mm. So I love to eat it right off the bone. It's like so good. Cartilage and everything. Don't judge me guys, it's just what I'm used to. So, now we're on to the thigh. Mm. This is so good, you guys, it's hitting the spot. There's shrimp, shrimp balls, garlic, and green onions. And that choice the, the main ingredient because you just pile that all in. Mm. basically drown in the soup. Mm. I like it just slightly drenched but not overloaded with a little bit of soy sauce just gives it that nice I don't know perfection taste. Notice you guys, I'm killing it. This is so good. I really love the way the chicken is done this way. Any soups that boils to chicken, I just love it. It tastes so moist. Fall off the bone. and it absorbs the flavor so well. Cheers guys. I hope everybody's happy, well, and enjoying whatever meal you're having. Cheers. Mmm, so good. Chicken. with hot sauce, chilies, or any type of hot sauce you prefer. But if you don't want to, it's perfectly fine too. It's just as good. Shrimp. Pretty nice sizes too. Mm. 
I wish I could explain what the taste is like, but basically the bok choy absorbs all the flavor. So all the flavor when you take bites of the bok choy, it's completely in there, it just bursts in your mouth. So whatever you use bok choy with, it's always so good. I had a picnic at the park today. It was so nice. The weather was beautiful. Little guy was loving it. Mm. The shrimp balls are so good in this because it's just so, I want to say like, it's soft, but you can really taste the shrimp flavor in it. Mmm. You can even put crab in it. Guys, don't use the simulated stuff. Use the real stuff. It's even better. Salmon chicken. We've got shrimp left. Big bite with shrimp. Soybean drink, you guys. Mm. I devoured this so fast. I think I want to do the jellies. Sometimes these are so easy to open and sometimes so hard. So this one is green apple. I've seen people do races with this too. <laughs> Pineapple was the yellow one, my bad. Grape. Maybe next time I'll do a race, a challenge. If you have that, I can eat these jellies. They're so good. Mm. <laughs> this one is strawberry. This is what it looks like right here. And then there's like little fruits in there as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna do the green apple, you guys. The first one was pineapple. Green apple.
It's so good. Normally I get it for the little guy and he loves it to pieces, but I wanted to share it with all of you guys too because I really do enjoy it. But I don't eat too many of it because I'm preggers and I just really like to watch what I eat. But sometimes you gotta spoil yourself a little bit, just a little bit. And then now is the sticky rice, my favorite. So this is what it looks like. There's a little bit of coconut on it, monk bean the inside, and the monk bean sweet, and the sticky rice is sticky and gooey gooey. Mm -hmm. Super sticky. It's like just melts in your mouth, but it's like chewy from the sick grace. It's like a pudding, I would say. Mm. Around Cambodia, Vietnam, Thai, and all the surrounding areas, sticky rice is very popular for desserts, for meals. Mm. So you guys, I devoured everything. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang with authentic my cuisine once again with my own little touches and fixings and then all the little side desserts as well this was an awesome one i was so hungry i just had to devour it until we feast again i'm little mia until next time peace